What is going on guys, Blueberry is who here, and welcome to the Medieval Party 2018 on Club Penguin Rewritten. This is a huge party with a ton of things to do, so let's waste no time and get straight into it. Part 1. The kingdom has fallen into darkness. Scorn, the Dragon King, has conquered the land. Chosen heroes, gather three magical items, reach Storn Scorn's lair, and defeat him once and for all. Heroes needed. Let's go. Alright, so here at the town now, as you can see, everything's looking pretty cool. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pull up your map, go to the plaza. Now what you want to do is you want to take one of these items, the squire outfit, add that to your inventory. The next thing you want to do is you want to go down here to this well. And here are the Yi Knight's quests. Now we're not going to do these right now, but what you want to do is when you want to keep going in this cave, and you got the pin maker 3000, so I'm gonna knock that cauldron over, spill in the lava, it's making the pin, and here it is. It's the brazier pin, brazier pin, excuse me. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna go back to the town, and head into the market, and there you can buy, or you can see, a medieval catalog. And there's a ton of things to buy here. There's a thunder blade, there's some tabards, some shields. There is a cheat. If you put, if you click this part on the red tabard right here, you can get the purple tabard and the purple shield. All right, with all those little things out of the way, we can now start the main part of the party, which is the scorn quest. So what I do is we want to click this right here, and if you move your mouse up here, the fairy branch enchanted with ancient powerful magic brings you to the dock. You can press this little stick right here. The spheres of starlight, which is at the beach right here next to this giant scorn statue and the cursed stones at the ski village click them now what you want to do is you want to go to the ski hill here you can collect a noble helmet let's pick that up let's actually put that on and if you have all the items that you collected you can now open this door head on inside as you can see we're on a giant drawbridge now and you can get a free item right here, the Battle Cape. Let's uh, let's put that on too. There we go, we're looking pretty nice. Let's keep moving forward. Looks pretty ominous. And here we have the Scorn Battle. Scorn is waiting for us. Are you prepared for battle? We are. Let's jump right in. How to defeat the Dragon King. Use your mouse to aim your slingshot. Hit many spheres at once for more powerful attacks. Do not give up, you must win. I shall. So, here we go, and here is Scorn. So, this game is pretty simple. You just have to click and uh, hit these spheres. Here we go, and just hit the spheres. It's pretty easy, honestly. And you're just kind of doing damage to him as you hit these spheres. It's pretty simple, honestly, but it is pretty fun. You can get coins from it, too. So, I think we're going to speed right past this because it's kind of doing the same thing over and over again. So, let's jump, let's start speeding up. And there we go. We have officially defeated Scorn. There's his crown right there. You can see the kingdom in the background. We just saved it. Crown of the Dragon has been added to your inventory, which is a pin. Victory is yours. You have defeated Scorn and saved the kingdom. Now, cross the bridge into the Sky Kingdom and bring peace back to Club Penguin. We got 380 coins. Let's grab that. And now everything... Scorn's gone now. We can head across this bridge to the Sky Kingdom. And now, we can grab this staff right here, the Skyward Staff, add it to your inventory, let's put that on too, it's pretty nice, it also has a little animation if you wave. And with the staff, you can actually hit up here, and some new things are available, you can put some penguins over there, some penguins over there, and it just causes rainbows to appear, which is pretty nice. I'll put a screenshot on screen of what it looks like. One final thing you can do here is in the town, if you jump onto this pedestal, a beanstalk rose, and if you go up that beanstalk, it's just an easier way of getting to the Sky Kingdom if you hadn't unlocked a staff or if you just want to get up here faster, so that's pretty cool. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up part one of the Medieval Party 2018. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out part 2 once it's up to know all about the Yeet Knights quest and some of the other cool goodies of the party. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.